Hi, it's the Crazy Okud again. I'm uh, going to show you how to um, add a wireless internet card to your existing computer. Now the computer I have already has built-in wireless, but what I found out is it's on the 2.4 gig band, which is the slow band, and it doesn't have, a, it's not dual band, so I can't get on the 5 gigs band to speed things up. Now, are you just a plan to you to get a regular two band N card? But as I was looking, I found uh, this card right here. And this card ta -da, is an AC band. It is extremely fast. Now, uh, it's pretty neat. It comes with this antenna base if you need it. I don't think I will. But you can put your antennas up on that instead. It comes with three antennas. It's Here's the, uh, the box. And uh, this is supposed to be blazing fast up to 1300 on the 5 gig side so um, megabytes per second so we will see these are also now the other reason I bought this particular one the Asus one is because I have an Asus router I have the AC66U router which is a so you need to have this card won't do you any good unless you have an AC router and uh, that router has been solid it's if you need to connect a lot of devices to your router and have them work it's the the Asus router is the way to go it uh, we put Normally it has 10 to 12 on it, and we've had up to 14 or so, and it just it just rocks. Now, um, and this is one of the reasons I wanted to get to the 5 gig band is because every, almost everybody connects to the 2.4 gig band, and I figured if I took my desktop to the 5 gig band, it would save, leave some space on the lower band for most everything else. So... Now I'm going to uh, disassemble things and see. Oh, first thing I want you to check out is here I just did a speed test with the current setup. And that's like right there. If you can read that. So we'll, after we get this thing running, we'll uh, do it again and see how much boost we've got. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to pull the cover off my uh, my uh, desktop, and here we got it. Now, I plan on uh, getting my... Uh, putting it in this slot. I kind of wanted it in this slot, but um, these cables are in the way reason this slot kind of blocks the fan for my uh, video card so we're gonna have to see how this goes and you know as we go now um, let's uh, look at this okay so here we go there's the slot I want to put this in and we are gonna slip it in now some people say, what about static and all that other good stuff? Well, I can tell you a couple of quick hints. There it goes. See, that eh, that's, looks pretty good. doesn't block that whole fan at first. So, what I do when I do this is... Okay, you see I left my power supply plugged in. And, of course, everybody says, oh, no, you can't do that. Well, as long as you turn it off, so there's no residual voices in here, because sometimes the power supply still puts some power to your board. So you want to make sure that you can get an off switch, you can turn it off. 
and leave it plugged in. That way this is grounded now through the power supply. So as long as you're touching your case, you'll be grounded and you won't have any problem with static. So there's the, uh, the uh, new wireless card all installed. Well, not completely installed, but in the computer. Now i got to button things up here a little bit. Now we got uh, to put this back on. And that doesn't get aligned. Make sure that lines up with that slot hole. There we go. Okay. I don't know if I can do this single handed. Now you put this down. You get the screw. And we'll set this up. <clears throat> Put this here, hopefully. Okay, now we push on this a little bit. Get that hole lined up. Get the screw in place. All tightened up. And there. Now the box came with three antennas. And be careful when you're putting these on. So you got the antenna base where if you were going to use the base you'd put the antennas on the uh, you'd be connecting wires here up to the and then the wires would go to the base now the instructions were a little vague Traditionally, you've always installed the item first, or I haven't loaded any software yet, so we'll see how this goes. Windows 8 does such a great job. Okay. Well, here we go. Um, so basically, I powered up the computer, and booted up, and then... Uh, Windows 8 surprisingly did not find it, so I installed the uh, put the the DVD that comes with the kit um, into the DVD player and uh, loaded it up. You know, just follow the directions and the manual on the software, and now we see the now we got we're showing three networks. Haber is our neighbors. And I'm getting three bars, and they are quite a ways away. They're across the street. Um, beans 1 and Beans 2 are, are um, uh, yeah, router. One's 5 gig and one's uh, the 2.4 gig. And uh, so, so we will try to connect to here. We select this one, connect, type in the security key, and it looks like it took.
guess the number pad was turned off. 88. So we're going to type in the uh, security key here. And if you're ever in my neighborhood, you can uh, probably use this. But uh, I live in a very rural space, so I think I'd notice if somebody was parked outside. And we hit save. Okay, so are we connected? Good question. We're connected to both. That's interesting. So we'll disconnect um, beans one. And, oh, we've got, oh, it shows up. Both networks show up. Huh, that's weird. I don't know if that's good or bad. Like I can be connected twice, but I'll probably disconnect uh, the uh, other one. So now that that's all done, we are connected. Let's um, do the internet speed test. And we do type in internet speed test. And I use super test here. Let's plug them guys in. That's what I used before. Now you got ads here, so you gotta watch out a little bit. There we go. Begin test. So that's that. There's the speed test results. So you can compare it to what I did before. And one other thing I wanted to check here. Mm. Connection properties. No, that's not what I want to do. Oh, wow. Let's see that. Connected at 292.5 megabytes per second versus 54 Mbps as before. So that is a, a massive increase. So, you have a good day. And uh, one last look at the setup. As we got it in there, tucked right above the, the video card, you have a good evening. Bye.